Welcome to our channel. Don't forget to subscribe and put likes, because your support is important for us. And here we go. The 10th Special Forces Group, commonly referred to as the Green Berets, recently showcased the use of first-person view, FPV, drones during a live drill conducted alongside Greek Special Operations Forces. Held near Nia Paramos, Greece on March 1, 2024, this demonstration was part of Exercise Trojan Footprint, aimed at strengthening NATO relationships, promoting interoperability, and enhancing readiness within the Euro-Atlantic Alliance. FPV drones have gained popularity for reconnaissance missions, and the Green Berets from the 10th Special Forces Group, Airborne, employed them for this purpose during the exercise. These drones provide operators with a first-person view of their surroundings via specialized goggles, enabling them to gather critical intelligence in real-time. Since the escalation of conflict in Ukraine in 2022, first-person view, FPV, drones have emerged as a significant technological asset in modern warfare. These drones, piloted remotely while providing operators with a drone's eye view through a video link, have been extensively utilized for reconnaissance and surveillance missions. Ukrainian forces have capitalized on the agility and relatively discrete profile of FPV drones to conduct real-time surveillance, identify enemy positions, and assess battlefield conditions without risking human lives. This adoption of FPV technology represents a shift toward asymmetrical warfare tactics, emphasizing intelligence gathering and precision strikes. Initially popularized by combat forces in Nagorno-Karabakh in 2020, FPV drones are now outfitted with weapons, offering significant advantages for military operations. Their use in modern conflicts for reconnaissance missions and targeted strikes on armored vehicles and enemy groups underscores their stealth, payload capacity, and ability to overcome interception challenges. In other regions, videos released by the Chinese military indicate that the PLA, People's Liberation Army, is developing units equipped with FPV drones. While the drone may not match the destructive power and range capabilities of conventional artillery, it offers advantages that are central to contemporary military developments. That's all for now. See you later.